sanctions against Russia. Federal officials stepped up warnings that U.S. businesses, governments, utilities need to watch out for digital warfare. While many attacks can't be directly tied to Russia, the belief is that hackers operate with the Kremlin's blessing. Uh, the president said the U.S. is prepared to respond if Russia pursues cyber attacks against U.S. interests and Homeland Security is leading the response to potential effects of cyber attacks that set up a group to monitor Russian activity, in fact. Well, its former director of cybersecurity at DHS, Amit Yorn, is with us now. He's currently chairman and CEO of Tenable, which helps companies manage security risks. We appreciate you being here with us. Thank you so much, Amit. Um, I wanted to ask you, when we talk about credible threats and targets, what are those, those companies, those governments, those energy sectors that are most susceptible? Yeah, well, there's a lot of susceptibility across uh, the United States, especially in the critical infrastructures, because those are known targets of hackers operating within Russia and, and sometimes the direct direction of, uh, of the Russian government. We've seen it consistently over the years uh, against the U.S. and also against other nations. So what should they be doing to protect, basically to protect themselves and their people? Within this, uh, oh, sorry, within uh, DHS, the Cybersecurity and uh, Infrastructure Security Agency has a program called Shields Up, where they've spelled out what folks should be doing to protect themselves. The first is know the vulnerabilities that Russian and other state-sponsored threat actors are leveraging. They published a set of 15 vulnerabilities, and they said, hey, if you're vulnerable to these things, you need to patch your systems, you need to tighten down, button down the hatches, because... Uh, these are the methods that, uh, that the hackers are leveraging. They've also published a series of activities to be on the lookout for. So it's very straightforward. It's very simple, easy to di digest what organizations need to do. So I, I want to remember SolarWinds, um, that hack, that cyber attack that was back in 2020, um, that led to a series of data breaches, including some within the U.S. government. And the suspect, as we mentioned in the intro there, the suspect is, is this group believed to be connected to or driven by uh, the Russian government. So with that said, how confident are you that the U.S. can thwart cyber attacks specifically from these groups? You, you, I think you've hit the, the, the nail on the head. These groups are operating within Russia and in many instances have the support of the Russian government. We've seen it in solar winds. We've seen it in uh, the, uh, all of the high profile outages, which many Americans have experienced. We saw it in the Colonial Pipeline shutdown, the JBS Foods uh, uh, meatpacking uh, facility shutdown. And in previous years with NotPetya and, and, and other uh, very impactful uh, attacks. I don't think it's possible for the federal government to protect the nation. Uh, the use of technology is too broad and it's too critical across every industry and every business. So it's incumbent upon American businesses and critical infrastructure operators to heed the warning, protect your systems. Many of the vulnerabilities which have been published by CISA have been out there for two years. Two years is two years too long, so you've got to You've got to patch your systems. You've got to monitor your systems. You've got to protect yourself and leave it to the federal government to do the monitoring and have the national coordinated response uh, back through diplomatic and, and other efforts uh, against Russia. Okay, so let me ask you this. Do you see any evidence of other, say, bad actors who are taking advantage of the chaos that we're watching right now? Yeah, as, as uh, frequently happens in cyber, because attribution is difficult to do, packets go across the network, someone is implementing a hack, it takes time to attribute those uh, attacks, and it takes a lot of work. So uh, there are folks taking advantage of the chaos, as, as you put it, and I think uh, one of those actors, which the government has already called out uh, as, you know, by CISA, uh, NSA, and, and FBI, is, uh, is Iran, and they've... They've already begun their activities taking uh, advantage of the chaos. And we have uh, other actors, other hackers uh, doing the same. The, the Conti uh, ransomware group, which has also been very active, uh, has, has sided with Russia and said, hey, if, uh, if you uh, uh, side against Russia, we will attack your critical infrastructure. And they've got a, a history of doing so, going after medical uh, facilities and others. Mm, that is a lot to learn. Amit Yoran, thank you so much for teaching us this morning. We appreciate it. Good being with you, Christy. Thank you. Take